And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And now, first pitch coming at you right after the break. 22, Los Angeles Dodgers. Almost ready to get underway. And on the hill in this one, number 28. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to Leading knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. All right, number ready 12. to get underway. Now it's going to be number 12. And that one fouled off. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Nope. And takes ball low one. for ball one. I got to count one in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. First strikeout for him in this one. That splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. Enos Slaughter, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Strike. Swings through that one. That just started oh. in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And here it comes. That one just misses. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And now the lefty swings and misses. Now two away. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound the because when you think six. of just having Man. a distraction, table setters Easy. on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. At the play, Stan usual. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, and 2. To measure what a force Stan the man was for the Cardinals, look at his first decade in the league. In those years, he won three MVP awards and finished second another three times. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. The Dodgers coming up, and we are sports. Back after this on the show. We go to the bottom of the first. Our starting pitcher in this one, Harry Rakeen. Well, this guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates and guys that are playing behind him just seem to take it to another level. You know, he's the type of guy, if he's not having a good day, to try to save that bullpen for the game and the next game, he'll go out there and wear it. So in this one, if he can keep his pitch count down early, he has the ability to work deep into this ballgame. Bottom of the first. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Jackie Robinson. Robinson. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Whips it to first. They get the out on Robinson. Batting second. Time to check That's out the Dodgers stop. lineup. Pee this is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. 
Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting third. The center fielder, Duke Snyder. And now the center fielder, Duke Snyder. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. Soft contact in the air, brings it in for the third out. Dodgers go down quietly. We played an inning, no score. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Cardinals, for the Cardinals, number 36. The center fielder, number 36. The pitch. There's the strike of the knees. And a pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? On the ground to third. Can't field it cleanly. No play. That's an infield single. Really nice job, a two-strike hitting in that at bat. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Number 21 now at the plate. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Number 36, on at first, nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. The one, two. Just a slow ground ball this time. And foul ball. Second inning here, no score. That one to first, sneaks through, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Stepping in, number two. Ground ball right side could be two. Feed to second, that's one. On the first, in time. Double play. The 3-6-1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest Number plays to make. Three. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. And here's the catcher. Number 17. Next pitch downstairs, and it's 1-0. Oh. Rudder at third, two away. Don't let him score! Bounced out to short. Reese handles the chance, sends it across to first, and that'll do it. The cards leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Roy Campanella. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Rakeem, back to work. 
And first offering is fouled off. On the ground right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting fifth. The designated hitter, Gil Hodges. Gil Hodges steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Brings it in, two up, two down. Batting six, the left fielder, number 22. And next for L.A., number 22. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. You'll want. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Throw over to Musial. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now the batter now, number 32. He got for St. Louis. The left fielder, number 32. And a pitch. Ball one. Counts 1-0. and oh. The pitch. Yeah. Now wanted one. 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 And now two balls and a strike. Down the line, it's a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you Number bobble four. it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Number four. Next up for the Cardinals. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Top of the third, no score. And there's the strike. One and one. And another ball. Come on now, let's get a K right here. That one in for a strike, two and two. Runner leads away at second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, number, number 12. 12. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And a foul ball. Here 
comes a pitch. And a count one and two. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the now leadoff bad. double. Yeah, Boogie, you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. So digging in, Enos Slaughter That's went down on strikes his first time through. Man at second. And he hits a ground ball right side. Gathers and throws the first. And that is that. So one left for the Cardinals. And we are still scoreless. Bottom of the inning. And now number six. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. First offering, and it just misses. Squibbed out in front of the play. The throw to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting eight. The second baseman, Bobby Morgan. And up next for Los Angeles, Bobby Morgan. And the first offering is not close. Swings through that one for strike one. Chris Dave Roberts had a good big league career. He was a really good defender and a guy who could steal a base when you needed him to. And the Red Sox really needed him to in game four of the 2004 ALCS when he swiped second and came home to score. And that kept the Red Sox alive. Yeah, this is a guy that was a little bit of a late bloomer in his career, but ended up having an excellent career. And just the type of player teammate he was easy to understand how he flowed nicely into the skipper's chair and doing a great job in that baseman, position billy cox. billy cox steps to the plate for the dodgers singing you talk about a guy that has all the skills the range is really good but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays bounce to the left side Throw over to Musial. That ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. Still no score. That's all. We'll get next inning. On to the fourth. And now the first baseman, Stan Musial. Leading off for the Cardinals. The first baseman, number six, Stan Musial. pitch that's off the mark one and oh and that one just missed off the outside edge well he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout that one missed now three and oh Popped up. Reese pulls that one down. One away. Now batter. Number 36. Number 36 will hit next.
Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, Into center. Snyder has this one sized up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. The batter, number 21. Two outs, base is empty. Number 21 digs in now. That one misses in the dirt. Just missed. Two zero. Foul ball there. That one the other way. Morgan over to first, oh. and that is the third out of the inning. Redbirds down quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the leading bottom up, of the fourth, Robert Jackie Johnson. Robinson. The first baseman, Jackie Robinson. And a pitch. Line drive. Can't get there. Base hit. No batter. Number one. And now here is Pee Wee Reese. Over one. He grounded out to first his last time. Runner on the goal. This one smacked out to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batter. The center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Duke Snyder. Snyder. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. Over to first, and he's safe. Sorry, In there, and it's 0-1. Throw to first. And he's back in easily. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Robinson stands at first with one out. There goes Jackie. Look out! And it hit him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Roy Campanella steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Grounded out his first time. Fought off foul. pitch in the air out towards right center slaughter settles underneath it makes the catch runner tags up for third and he moves up a base so two away with runners at the corners now batter, the designated hitter now it's the dh kill hodges if you don't get ahead in the count you can forget about having any success against him First pitch, not close. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him. And there's a hit. And they'll score first. It's one zip. 
Well done. Drives in the run. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So two down. Number 22 steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And first offering is fouled off. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now up for St. Louis, number two. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Kicks and fires. Tapped softly on the ground. Sends it to first. One away here in the fifth. Good two-seam action right there. Running away from the batter. Number Rolled 17. over it. Got the ground out. Number 17 in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is downstairs. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Wind in the pitch. Hey. This to third. Cox picks it up. Zips it to first. Barely got him for the out close play. Well, he's doing a nice job of now keeping back. the ball out Double of the air. Two. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, number 32. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And it's one and one. Well, interesting strategy there. He must have seen something after that first pitch. Didn't attempt to bunt, but here on the second one, he does. All right, Dodgers. And now one and two. 
No, tried to bunt for a hit right there, and you can tell he's trying to get something, anything going offensively. The wide to kick the pitch. Got him. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. And down in order go the Cardinals. And it remains 1 0. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, number six, leading off. Chris, Ford baseball Thompson. today, so many the strikeouts, right and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. On the run, sends it over to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. First of all, that's just a nice job to even no get matter. to that Number ball. Seven. And then even more Second impressive was the throw. Bobby. Off balance. More had to try to in the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Come on, Dodgers! Morgan yeah. stands in now and watches strike one. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. And, and here it comes. Ball. Off the mark there. And a count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to the left. And a couple of quick outs. The batter. The third baseman, Billy Cox. Billy Cox steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's 0 for 1. Swings here and blasts one left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He no drove that ball very well out to the deep part of the Jackie. field. And you may be surprised Robinson. he didn't get a double out of it. But I'll tell you, they did a great job of getting that ball back into the infield right away. It might have been the right call to hold him at first. Jackie Robinson steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. They get the force. And that will end the inning. One left for L.A., but they're on top, 1-0. All set for the top of the sixth. And stepping in for the Cardinals, number four. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And now the lefty. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Chopped out in front of the plate. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. One, two now. And it's fouled away. pitch that to right makes the catch and there's one gone the battle number 12 so the batting order turns over and up next for st. Louis number 12 
First offering misses the mark. There's the strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. And a one-two. That one hit to right. Number six under this one. He makes the grab, and there's two away. Now batting, the right fielder, Enos Slaughter. Two outs, base is empty. Enos Slaughter, next up for the Cardinals. First pitch, just misses. Kicks and deals. And that one off the outside edge. That was a strike, huh? Come on! That's a strike, and it's two and one now. And there's a ball. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The pitch. Towards first. Robinson collects. And that's the third out. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers one and the Cardinals nothing. Welcome back, bottom of the six. And now, Pee Wee Reese. For the Dodgers, the shortstop, Pee Wee Reese. The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's one down. The center fielder, number four, Duke. Here's a big power Snyder. threat, Duke Snyder. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. In the air, out towards left center, makes the grab, two down. The catcher, number 39. Roy Campanella. Here's the power hitting catcher, Roy Campanella. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. I'll tell you this that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Next offering is fouled back. Out there to center, number 36, moving ah. under it. He's got it, and that is out number three. Dodgers go down quietly, but they hold a 1-0 lead. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now up for St. Louis, Stan Musial. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to Stand. get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And a pitch. There's the strike. And strike two. The tying run at the plate. In the air, center field. Snyder under it. 
And there's one away. Now batting. Number 36. And next is the Cardinals' four hitter. Number 36. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Left-hand hitter waits. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Kicks and fires. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And there's two away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. And next is the designated hitter, number 21. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 1 for count. Two outs. Wait. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Stays alive. The 0 2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the inning is over. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. half of the seventh and now the DH Gil Hodges for the Dodgers the designated hitter Gil Hodges here comes a pitch ball one no strikes that's where you want it. it's a good miss That one fouled off. Ball to strike. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot, according to StatCast. The exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Now the left fielder, number 22, lifted in the air right center field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. One down. The batter, number six. So up next, number six. Ground ball up the middle, and it gets by it. They get it in quickly, so first and second, now one out. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Bobby Morgan. In the air, right field, Slaughter. Moving to his left, makes the grab for the second out. Third baseman, number three. 
Billy. Down the Cox. third baseman, Billy Cox. Well, bottom of the order here, Boog. You got to go right after this guy as they look to pick up an add-on run and the number nine guy at the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Here's the throw to the plate. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Dodgers strand a couple. They lead it 1-0. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth and stepping in for the Cardinals, number two. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next offering is down low, and that is ball one. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Up towards right center field. He's got it. One up, one down. Number 17. And now the catcher comes up to him. Number 17. In there for strike one. Left hand batter waits. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. The other way, and there's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Number 32 in the box now, takes strike one. And a pitch. Strike two. All game long, he's really done a great job of keeping these hitters guessing. You've got to play with that front foot. He's done exactly that, keeping them off balance. That one the other way. And a base hit right there. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Not a bad pitch by any means. Down and away, right on the corner of the zone. Just a better swing, Boog. Stayed through it and hit it hard the other way. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Number 28 departs, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, number 11. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 11.
Now here is number four. Ground ball could be two. To second, there's one. On to first, but it pulls it off the bag. Well, he had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. So the lineup flips over, and up next for St. Louis, number 12. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Double steal. And it's a squeeze. Robinson whips it to first. That's out number three. Excellent work out of the Dodgers' bullpen there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Dodgers one and the Cardinals nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 28. And his job is to collect quick outs Rudy and keep his Rudy team Rudy within Dodgers. striking distance. The first baseman, Jackie Robinson. And a pitch. Out to short. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he Number wanted one. to get that ball in the air. Good maybe stop. drive it into the gap. Pee -wee. Reese. Now it's the shortstop. Pee Wee Reese. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Action in the pen down there. Ken Johnson, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Righty to the plate. He swings and fouls one off. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Slice down the right side. Two two down. High fly ball out to center field. Number 36 settles under this one. Calls it in for the out. Now batting center fielder, Duke Snyder. Duke Snyder steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Next pitch has popped up. Number 12 gets under it. And that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they still lead it 1-0. Now New pitcher for the Dodgers, number 13. Trying to protect this lead. Number 13. Enos Slaughter getting ready to hit. Oh, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Going away. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Right-hander kicks deals. Next offering misses down and away. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one lifted to left. And a quick out number one. Oh, 
the first base of the kill. And now Stan Musial. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And first offering is fouled off. And now just two outs away. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. The next offering misses. And the count is 1-2. One and two. Righty delivers. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the right-hander deals. In the air, left field. Number 22 drifts towards it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. The battle, number 36. Number 36, next up for the Cardinals. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Oh, and Tuzzi waves at that one. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a change-up. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Next pitch is outside. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. The one, two. Three. Got it! And that's the ball game. So this one is all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shopping. We'll see you soon.